I'm going to play a game of solitaire for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I like to do this to practice decision making in a four player game, but of course I'm by myself, so I call it solitaire. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 14 tiles. Players 2, 3, and 4 will get 13 each. Then we'll look at each hand and decide where the strengths lie. Pick out a category to play, maybe even pick out a hand. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one, also known as East. Flower, West, South, Green. Two, three, seven in Cracks. One, three, five, six, seven in Bams. Three, six in Dots. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would play odds. Probably little odds, because we have all the threes. We may or may not be able to use a flower. And this seven is kind of out of place. But we'll see what we can do when the tiles come in during the Charleston. For our first pass, I think I would probably pass that. I think that's actually the most benign pass you can do. A wind, a dragon, and a number tile in the opposite suit of the dragon. And then we have tiles we can pass here. A little bit risky with a 2-6 because they're both, both even, but we'll see what we get in our first pass. Let's move on to player two also known as South. Flower, North, South, Dragon. Four, five, eight in dots. Four, eight, nine in cracks with a pair of eights and nines. And then a nine bam. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on? And what would be your first pass? I would build around the multiples, eight, nine. Those are consecutive, so I would play consecutive run. There is a hand in consecutive run that uses opposite dragons. That would be the concealed hand, so I would hold that. I would also hold eight and nine for options. For example, we could do seven eight seven eight nine which is the third hand from the bottom but then we'd have to throw away a pair of nines i think i would just keep those and just see what happens and then out of here now i think i would keep the north south because we could play north and south with nines the challenge is this is what we're left with i think what i would do here is let the eight go and break up this. So four, five, eight, and hold these. Let's move on to player three, also known as West. Green dragon, three, eight, nine in bams, four, six in cracks, one, four, five, six, seven, nine in dots with a pair of nines. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If 
If these were my tiles, I think I would play 369. We have 3669 and a dragon that we may be able to use. There's one hand that uses opposite dragons, third hand from the bottom. Three six nine. Three six nine. I'm because we have so many discards, I think I would keep the eight and the seven, because we could play six through nine consecutive run, which is a little more flexible than three six nine. And that does give us some tiles to pass. This is a little bit risky. We could probably make it better by letting one of these go. But since we have only one three, I think having a, an option for a consecutive run would be smart in this case. Actually, now that I think about it, maybe we should even keep the five because really we're one tile away from a sequence here. If we can get an eight dot, we could play five through nine and leverage that pair. So maybe what we could do is let the eight go and focus on three, six, nine or consecutive run with dots. We're gonna move on to player four, also known as North. We have a flower, northeast, white dragon, and a pair of red dragons. We have a one bam, six eight, and then we have a five crack and a four five in dots with a pair of fours. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on four, five, six, building around the four. I would keep the dragons and the flower. There is some potential for two, four, six, eight, but we have a gap, no two. And I really don't like passing two wins together, at least for starting the Charleston. So I would either keep this, maybe pass this, because our pair is with the dragon. There is an offsuit dragon hand, the consecutive run concealed hand, but this would be a very risky pass. So if we play consecutive run, I think I would rather not pass that risky and pass those. Play either four, five dragon or two, four, six, eight. Both of those options would leverage that multiple. We're ready to do the Charleston. We're going to do the first right east to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. We're looking for odds. We got two, five, and one. We'll just keep gathering odds. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. So let's pass west to six. That's not too bad. Let's see what South got. We want eight, nine, nines. If we're playing North and South with nines, we may be able to use this if we played that concealed hand, opposite dragons. We have cracks here, so the green and the white dragon would work for that hand. And we do have tiles we can pass. It's a little bit risky. The other thing we have here is a south, north and south with nines. I think because we have a gap of no nine dot, I would not do that. I would leverage these two and let the gap hand go. So I probably would keep the nine and break up the wins. For West, we're wanting 
three, six, nine, or five through nine in dots. We got a five and an eight. I would focus on that first hand under consecutive run. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, no gaps. Five, seven, nine, maybe keep this nine because we could maybe switch to a five, seven, nine hand, but probably not because we have five, seven, nine. There's no, the only hand that we could do with all those and other suits would be the pair hand, which we could potentially do. And then maybe we could pass one of each suit. North is looking for consecutive run in dragons maybe, or two, four, six, eight. We got a four and an eight. Four, six, eight. We need a two dot in there to play two, four, six, eight. But we do have two multiples, four and eight, which screams evens. Since we already have a four in our pair, let's let this go. We're ready to go across. East and west and north and south. Whoops. Okay, we want odds. If we get a nine bam, we could maybe do the first hand. That would leverage the pair. But I'm thinking little odds look stronger. Let's see what we get. We got an odd, a little odd, one, three, five, seven. And we have tiles to pass, so we don't have to pick a hand. We're gonna keep going, those are fine to pass. So we went eight, nine dragon. We didn't get any keepers here. Now we did get that north. North, south, south is going around. Well, it started here, so it may come back around. But I don't think I would hold it. I think I would focus on consecutive run because it's more flexible and we have a gap with north and south with nines. We have no nine dot. Here we're looking for five through nine in dots, no keepers. We could maybe make this better because with the year, twos are gonna be sought after more so than fours. In north, we're looking for either evens or four, five dragon. We got a four, five, six, okay. That's nice, four, five, six. I think I would let this go now. Maybe hold the white dragon here. Four, five, six. If we can get two, three dot, we might be able to use that. Or we could play four, five dragon if we get the green dragon. And we can pass those. We are going to do first left, east to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. Here we're looking for odds. Little odds is probably stronger unless we get that nine bam. We got a little odd and that's where I would focus. So I would let the big odds go and focus on little odds. There's actually a hand here with no gaps. One, three, one, three, five, concealed. I wouldn't pick it. I would wait and continue to gather. And then I would pass those three. Focus on little odds. Here we're looking for eight, nine dragon. We got a six and a west. Oh, okay, now here's something to consider. We could do news with nines. We have to make a choice right now. Uh, 
I think we could give up one of the new tiles. We could still go back. The dragons really are not coming through. So let's pass a south. We could recover one tile for news if we play like numbers with nines and news. We want five through nine in dots. We could probably make this a little bit better. Instead of six, eight, pass two, six. We got a keeper, maybe four. Here's an east. Anytime I have a big multiple, I think about a quint. But we need tiles to pass. I would let it go. We did first left. This is when everyone would decide if they want to keep doing the Charleston, and I would for every player. So we're going to do second left. East to north, north to west, west to south, south to east. We're looking for little odds. No keepers. There are some consecutive in here, three, four, five, six. For example, we could do three, four, five, six. But we would have to discard two multiples. I would not do that. I would probably make that a little better because fours and sevens go together in one hand and that would be the consecutive pair hand. So four, six can be used several places, either in evens or consecutive run. So I think that is the best we can do while building little odds. Here, we're looking for eight, nine dragon, or maybe nines. We got that south. Okay, now we're on second left. I think what I would do here is keep the wins and just pass two because we're heading into, oh no, we have to go across. Never mind. Let's give it up. We can recover it just like we did here, probably. I forgot, we're on second left. We still have to go across. Here we want five through nine in dots. Now we do have a pair. We have eight, nine. Here's a hand, six, seven, eight, nine but we'd have to throw away two pair. I would rather leverage the most of my multiples and let that go. Probably all those can go. We could either break up the eight or pass the nine, but that would leave us with a potential pair to pass. I think I would break up the eight just in case we get what we want, we're not stuck with a pair in a pass. We want five, six really here, or maybe two, three dot would be nice. No keepers. We did get a four though. We could maybe play like numbers with fours. Let's keep that four and pass two. Oh, I keep forgetting. We have to go across. Okay, so dragon, dragon. We have no two, three, so let's discard that and keep, oh wait, no. I think we have to make a choice in here. Four, five. Hmm. Four. Four, north, potential quint, no jokers. Okay, that's going. We have to have a tile to pass. I think what I would do, as crazy as it sounds, I think I would let the four dot go because if this is discarded, we could call it during the pick and discard phase, if it's not used. And then we could maybe play this 
or this and claim that. And that'll get us through the cross pass. We have two options here. So I think that's what I would do. The other thing we could do is keep the four and pass a dragon. The thing about that is that this is a concealed hand and if the dragon is discarded, we can't call it. So I think I would keep the dragon and let the four go. Everybody can pass across. We're looking for little odds. No keepers. I would pass those three. Here we need eight, nine, nines, maybe help with news. We got a north, which we don't need really. I would pass those. Here we went five through nine in dots. We did pick up a seven, nine for potential odds. Let's pass those three and keep the odds because we have five, seven, nine. Here we wanted either fours or five, six dragon. I would pass those. Okay, now, last right. East to south, south to west, west to north, north to east. We're looking for little odds. No keepers. Oh, we have a pair in there. I was thinking we could do three, six, nine, but we have no nines. Little odds is the strongest. And because we have so few discards, I don't think this would be good joker bait. I'd rather pass fully in the optional cross. Here we really wanted dragons or eight, nine, or nines, and we got a six, eight. So here we have eight, nine, eight, nine, but there's no hand this year that uses that. Maybe we could keep the six for six through nine. So maybe we could just pass. Oh, look, we got the east. We almost have news. Okay, let's let that go and focus on potential news with like numbers if this hand doesn't work out. Here we want five through nine in dots. We got a four. If we get flowers, we could maybe play the pair hand. Uh, six consecutive pairs. Oh, look, we got a, a seven here. There's a north and a green. We can let that go. But we have five, seven, nine, seven, nine. We could maybe try for that pair hand. Big odd pair hand. That would be the second hand on the right under singles and pairs. I think what I would do is let that go and hold the six, seven, because there's no gaps there. Here we would need a five bam and a five crack. Let's pass those. And we got a four. Okay, so this is when I would focus on like numbers with fours. So I would let these go now. Maybe five, eight, pass those. We're on optional cross, east and west, south and north. So these two have three, oops. These two are gonna negotiate with two because this player wants only two. So this player has to decide and since South was going around, you might think no one's playing wins. So I think I would do that and hold the five because we could still play four, five, six. 
with flowers. So I would pass those. We have to pretend like we don't know what's going on here. So we're going to pass across. We're looking for little odds. And we didn't get any little odds, but we did get a matching dragon here. One, three, five dragon. That's a hand. That would be the uh, second hand down under odds. So let's keep that and we can discard these. Here we want news, nines, or eight, nine dragon. And we have the eight back and that south. So here we could play news with nines or eight, nine dragon. So really we have one discard before we have to pick a hand. This is concealed. This we can call the nines and we're secured with our singles and we all we really need is a flower so let's just see what happens the thing that i noticed during the charleston is that dragons were really not passed i think maybe the red dragon was passed i don't remember but it seemed like dragons were not being passed Maybe it was the green that went around. So I would notice that and think I may not get the dragon. So more likely than not, like numbers with news would be what I would focus on. Use this for joker bait and discard those. Because I think someone's keeping dragons. And in this case, we have one here and up here. We'll see. We have one discard before we have to choose. Here we want five through nine in dots. No keepers. So I would discard those. And here we want four, five, six, or like numbers with fours. Probably like numbers with fours. And really those aren't going to be helpful. Even though we have four, five, six, and six, I think we have a better chance at like numbers than something mixed suit with a six. So I would let those go. And I wouldn't consider two, four, six, eight either because we have no two. So we're done with the Charleston. You can be the fifth player for this game and bet on who you think will win the game. Look at everybody's hand and decide who you think will have the best chance. Write your guess in the comment section below Try not to look at any of the comments, otherwise it could skew your answer. I'm going to make my choice using this. We're gonna start by discarding North. We've got news. We don't need that North. Three, we're looking for nines. Let's discard the three. Three dot, nobody can take it. Now here, we want that for concealed, maybe. So we're not gonna take it. Of course, we can't take it anyway. Can't call for a pair. And we're playing probably a concealed hand here. Flower, well, we can keep it for a little while. Let's discard south. And here we're very happy to have news. We got another four. Here's all our fours. I think I would let those go now. Focus on fours, either with flowers or dragons. Eight bam. flower. Here I would play something with a flower. So probably one, three, five dragon. That'll use all three multiples. But I would hold those and let these go. Let's discard four dot. Six. 
seven, seven, eight, nine, eight, nine dragon, eight bam was discarded. Let's discard that. Five crack. Well, five, seven, seven, nine, five, seven, nine, potential pair hand there. Let's discard two crack. Seven crack. Concealed for now. Three dot. Well, one, three, one, three, five, concealed. One, three, one, three, five, no gaps. Let's keep it for now and see what happens. Six BM. Nobody wants it. West. We have news. I think I would keep it and discard seven BAM. Who knows, maybe we'll build up wins. Maybe we could go for a pair hand. We wouldn't need the West though. Three BM. We want big odds. Three BM. This is concealed. And if we played one, three, five dragon, we would have to make a decision right now and pong. One, three, five dragon. Pair, pong, kong, kong, pong. We need a pong of green. Okay, so we really don't have to decide right now because another three will come, maybe. We, and we still could play the concealed hand. So I would let it go. Let's draw. Did I draw? No, okay. Eight crack. Three BM. Okay, well, that's nice. Well, now we have to decide. One, three, one, oh. Maybe we could play that pair hand here. We kind of have to decide right now we could maybe play the pair hand right there. We could do one, three, one, three, five, or one, three, five dragon. Hmm. Oh, this is kind of a hard choice. This is a tough choice here. Okay, there are no fives out. And really that's fives and dragons. Fives and dragons. And of course we're gonna be okay with our flowers. One, three, five. We have no one crack. One, three, we need ones if we play the pair hand. One, three, one, three, five, concealed. Let's let the pair hand go and let the three crack go. And we still have two hands we could play. Either the dragon hand, second one down, or the concealed hand with this five. So let's discard three crack. That was a tough decision because we're kind of close to that pair hand, but we need ones. Okay, we're gonna draw. Seven. Oh, okay, well, here's something. Seven, eight, dragon, seven, eight, nine, news with nines. Let's discard this West. We got a nine. So here I would think maybe switching to five, seven, nine, five, seven, seven, nine. I'm not sure. I think we should just discard the six BAM and wait it out. We'll see on next pick. So six BAM, nobody's playing that. 
we finally got a two, but now we have no eights. I would discard it. Four. <laughs> That's an interesting twist there. Three, four, five. But we're much stronger in little odds, so I would let it go. Seven. Anytime you get a new multiple, reassess. Here we have seven, eight, nine. So I would let the dragons go and probably the winds focus on seven, eight, nine. Let's discard white dragon and nobody can take it. Five, bam. Okay, I think five, seven, nine is going to be better than five through nine. We could maybe even play the pair hand. Let's discard eight dot. Seven dot, no interest. Can't take it there. Joker. Okay, good thing we gave up the pair hand. I think what I would do is make a decision. One, three, five four discards, one, three, maybe use that here, one, three, one, three, five, four discards, or four discards. Here we can call. Let's go with the exposable hand since we're weak with our Kong with the five. And then of course we need a, a Pung of Green Dragon. So let's focus there, hold the threes. Although that was discarded and nobody wanted it. Let's discard one dot. Another hard choice, but you can't, you gotta make a decision with one hand at some point. So we're gonna dig in with something we can call for. One crack. East. Last tile, third, second wall. Six bam. Green Dragon, so we made the right choice. Five crack. Good job. Eight dot, that was thrown. West. Eight dot. One crack, that could have been helpful for that pair hand. We're pretty solid here though. We just need a little help right here because we can pung that green. We have everything we need there. We just need a little help right here. Nine bam, that's a pair. Seven, eight, nine, news. Let's discard green dragon. It would be this player's turn, but here we're going to Pung. Pung. Second hand down under odds. Three dot. Oops. Red Dragon. We'll discard that. And up here we're not ready. Three crack. We want big odds. Oh, we keep getting this hand wanted to be two, four, six, eight, I think. Let's keep the two and discard the five dot.
north. Two dot. Nobody's wanting wins, so these are going to be safe discards. Red. So this player's going to need two jokers or switch to like numbers with fours. Or two, four, six, eight. Maybe two, four, six, eight with pair uh, pungs of fours, the concealed hand. But we'll need eight bams and six bams. Three six bams are out and two eight bams are out. So I don't know if we can switch to that concealed hand there. So that's a little painful. Let's draw. Hopefully we'll get a four. We got an east. Those are being discarded, so we'll let it go. Nine dot. Well, three dot we discarded. Three dot. Five crack. Maybe we should keep that. If we get six cracks, we could play five through nine. Let's discard the wins. South. Joker. Okay, so I wouldn't focus on that pair hand there. I would probably play five, seven, nine of some kind. Let's discard six dot. I think five, seven, nine is what I would try for here. Flower. That'll work for like numbers with fours. If we happen to get jokers, we might still be able to make this like number hand work. Let's go ahead and, eh. Yeah, because the six and the eight are out, let's not play evens. Even eight dots are out. Four crack. It's this player's turn. This player would love to have a Kong for that. That might need to be the pair for like numbers with fours. Either that or we pung it and focus on the dragons, but a white dragon is out and two, <clears throat> two red dragons are out. So I probably would play like numbers with fours and let these go, including that four, because we can't call it for a Kong. So let's draw. We got a six, but let's go ahead and let these wins go. Seven dot. I think I would focus on the five, seven, nine, one suit hand. We need flowers. Five, seven, nine, we have our pair. So we can let all those go. I think nine bam is out, no. Let's discard nine bam. That's what we have right here, but we're stronger with seven, eight, nine. And we have no nine dot, so we're gonna let it go. Joker, well that's gonna be helpful here. Let's keep those dragons. We could still maybe make that work. Let's discard six crack. Five crack. You can't do anything there. One dot. Well, let's keep get, getting rid of these wins. Joker. Okay, that's nice. That can help with the flower, maybe. So let's discard sevens. Seven bam. North. Two dot. Whoops. Three crack. I don't think that's going to help, but let's discard north. I like to discard outside tiles. Nobody wanted the nine bam, so th those will be good discards too. So we're going to draw. White dragon. There is a five, seven, nine dragon hand. 
but there's already a white dragon out and we we don't oh wait a minute we could do that that would be the second hand down on the right five seven nine dragon that's actually helpful for that second hand down we'll keep it even though we're going to need a joker there maybe because there's one out let's discard seven crack here we're not ready joker nice okay six die so now I think I would, we're set. No, we're one away from set. We need another flower because we got to have four flowers. But we could Kong the four here and here and use that as our pair. Okay, we're drawing here. Flower. We, we don't need it. I don't think. We need a pair. We don't need a, a flower. Let's ditch it now. Flower. It's this player's turn. This player could Kong. But you know what? Th that's the first flower out. I would let it go and wait. I'd rather use it for my four. Or you know what we could do? Use it here. Use this here and be ready here. Maybe. It's a little risky. There'll be more flowers out. Let's wait. Let's wait just a little. We'll draw green no six crack discard five dot here it's this player's turn but here we have to decide we could do five seven nine uh, flowers but we need four flowers there. Here we need a pair. I think I would let it go and focus on the dragon hand. Because we could Pung here, Kong here, Pung here. We don't even really need that. I would wait. South. Oh, eight crack. That's nice. So I would probably focus on seven, eight, nine. Let's discard one dot. Six bam. Sometimes when I have an option, I put it upside down. Because if we get six cracks, we could play six through five through nine. How many six cracks are out though? One. Just one. How many five cracks are out? One. I think we can hold that for a little bit. Let's draw. Seven dot. It's this player's turn, but this player could pung, and I would. I'd commit. Pung. Second hand down on the right. We'll discard five crack. And this player, I would not take that. That's two fives out. I would discard that now and focus on seven, eight, nine, flower. Three crack. That was the last tile in the third wall. We're going into the end game. So everybody should decide if they want to play to win. I would play to win here. I would consider defense here because we have six, uh, five discards. If you have four discards or less, play to win. If you have more than four, consider defense. Here I'd play to win. Here I would play to win. So this player, I would think, might need to switch to defense, especially because there's a seven crack out and they have no jokers. But we'll take it pick by pick. We really don't have to choose yet. We've got plenty of discards that are not wanted. Well, that's a handy pick. Nine dot. 
It's this player's turn, but we're going to Kong. And we'll discard 5 BM. So they're ready on a flower here. And they are ready on a 5 BM. Pair, pair, pung, kong, pung. Oh, that's Mahjong. This player just discarded the five bam. That's Mahjong right here. Mahjong. This player tossed it. This player won. Little odds. Who did you bet on? I was in between these two players, but I thought this player was gonna play concealed, so I bet on this one. Because I thought they would call for exposures and get there quicker. It was quite a battle, I think. This player ended up drawing well because they're also ready to win. This player had the hardest time. And if you look, joker, 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 no jokers. For scoring, this is a 25 point hand. This player discarded the tile, so they'll pay double. So they will pay 50 points, and these two will pay 25 points each. If you did the fifth player betting and you bet on a different player other than this one, then you would have to pay the value of the hand. Or if you if you bet on this player, you would have to pay just like them. In this case, I bet on this player, so I would pay just like this player. So I would pay 25 points. Now, if I had bet on this player, I would have had to have paid 50 just like this player because the better pays and receives just like the player bet on. That was a really close game for three out of the four players. Thanks to jokers. If you have a set of tiles at home, give this exercise a try. If you'd like to set it up the way I do, look for links in the video description below. This is a great way to practice decision making and maybe even practice a new strategy. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.